Hey, don't back. Okay, well, I had some lunch. And, uh, feels a lot better. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use more of these plugs, I'm sure, now, so... I'm gonna go ahead and give them a little squirt with rust buffer. That knocks everything before I blow them off and everything. I think I'll even hit, hit these parts with it a little bit. That'll probably knock that off of there. By the time I get ready to put them back, I'm using this old crappy piece of cardboard so that I don't mess up my, my uh, good cardboard. I mean, that's, it, this is my table saw table, and so I painted all that on that cardboard and stuff. I think my engine grease on it all the time. So, that'll soak through and get all the way to the wood. Okay, so. I guess I'll go ahead and. Well, I gotta blow all this off. Uh, every one of these little deals, really, probably because they've been soaking in WD uh, in transmission fluid, that cleans them pretty darn good. Uh, the thing that didn't have much in it, I probably spilled it or poured it out after a long time, figuring they were soaked long enough. But it could have it could have ate through. It'll eat through some plastic. Could have ate through and leaked out. I see any crack in it though? But uh, I could see the transmission fluid on them when I started pulling them out. So anyway, I don't plan on necessarily putting them all in, but I need one more on that side. I'm gonna have to take the others out to see. I think I just want to know. You know what's the deal with them but like i said these are probably from 1992 and probably on the first engine that was in this it was fallon plugs so some of them could actually have you know be almost gone or burned themselves up i don't remember as a rule i never really purposely kept plugs if i thought they were dead i'd throw them away but since i have a whole set of eight i figure i probably just decided to go ahead and swap them out for some ngk I was looking at NGKs just now, and the cheapest ones are like two, two and a quarter. But I couldn't remember my number, you know, my plug number that I always used to get. Hopefully, I've got one in the back of the truck or something. Otherwise, because I looked on O'Reilly's, you got your truck in there. It still shows you every other freaking kind of park spark plug. It don't show you the ones that supposedly fit your truck. I looked on Amazon, and it narrowed it down better. But uh, the prices were weird and high, and like four to nine dollars for one plug and all kinds of weird you know tricky crap so you know when they got all those different sellers on there sometimes you get into you get you can get tricked easy so uh O'Reilly the only reason I was really looking at O'Reilly's is because uh, I can't go get it <laughs> I'm cutting to go get it in uh I'd have to order them and plus I'd probably prefer to do that I want to drive around with no sticker and get a ticket but uh they have a for a few days here, they have free shipping on anything, any order. So I thought, well, heck, yeah, I'll get them there then if they're not too high, you know. So we'll see. I'll just go back and do some, try to narrow it down and find out what I need. Either see my, the ones I used to use, if I've got one of those. I usually always have at least one. I have, I may have the boxes. I used to save the boxes. As a matter of fact, I got a motor manual that I used to stick stuff like that in. I used to have all that stuff in my glove box, but I cleaned it out and put it all in a box when you and I keep seeing it here and there, but I don't know where it is right now. All my receipts, everything I ever put in the truck. So, air compressor's going on, and I'm going to clean these up. It's going to be pretty loud for me to talk.
but not so lubricated anyway. Okay, so let's put these over here with my tools. Let's look them over right quick. I did look them over. Let's see. Sandpaper over it, and the oh, that one has a little crack in it. Guess I better hit it with the air cleaner, and air blower again. I should have done that to start with, so I know. Uh, if you, you gotta kind of, I mean, it's kind of good to blow them out first. That way, anything that's really loose will just come off, and then. Oh, that's the one that's not gapped. I should get my gapper out. Get it. Now, do I remember? I'm thinking I used somewhere between 25 and 28. Put that one back open. It was evidently dropped or something. I didn't grab those others, I just... I didn't think about sanding them either. That's something I usually always do. I had the wrong end. I thought I already had it opened up enough. If I were to actually use them very long, they would, uh, I could use the tool, couldn't I? They would spread out. I think the screwdriver may work better than that, so I don't know. that's alright. It went from one kind of extreme to the other. There. That's all. These are old and let's see what these others are. Yeah, they're they're about the same as that one. That one's about twenty five. I used to be I would be particular if these were brand new. Actually, when you, if you do have any oil burning problems, you, you can kind of make the plug last longer by gapping them a little wider. I remember that, yeah. A hotter plug is good, but you don't want too hot. You don't want to start melting engine components. You, too hot will actually uh, even cut, you know, it will not help either with oil burning plugs, but too cold won't burn at all. But this motor has never burned oil, so... Dang. I'm just going to build on that. I'm about 25. I'm doing it, right? No, I'm doing them at 40. Well, that's closer to what they are. Most of them already were. Others were looked fairly well. They looked about the same as these. They didn't look like they'd been bent or anything. I mean, like I said, I wouldn't normally do that. But I'm just trying to see if I can. You know, if they're a little wide, it wouldn't hurt anything. It would in the long run, but wouldn't be great. You know, wider they are, the more harder they'll work your ignition system and everything. If they're uh, 
sandpaper one. all that long and would have really, you know, when they were old and corroded, get them better. If you got a, uh, you're not going to get as good a spark at all with them. So, you know, covered with a film of, of uh, carbon. But if you let that carbon stay on the sides of the electrode down towards the tip or down in the hole, and it will cause them to uh, short out, ground out, and that's when they really don't work. And sometimes if they're not ruined yet, you can just clean them out and keep using them. But uh, these ones that are in there, that's all right. I'm not going to pull them back out since they're used. If they were new, I'd try to fix it. Well, if they were new, they wouldn't need it. Yeah, they would be. wipe my nose with the with, with the dust buster on my finger because my nose is burning. Okay, uh, yeah, I wanted to look at one of these. I took out a couple of them. See if I could get on the camera. I didn't. I looked at them a little bit. I don't know. I don't think it's enough light. This one I've been. I'm just gonna have to do it out here. These ones that I thought were completely covered up in corrosion actually have this weird V-shaped tip and it doesn't have an electrode inside of the ceramic like a normal plug. I don't remember ever seeing anything like that. Maybe. It seems vaguely familiar. But the ones that I thought were super corroded are not. They're kind of... I guess you're probably thinking, well, everybody's seen those. Because you're young and you, you know stuff now. You know the new stuff. But uh, unless you're old like me and you're going, yeah. <laughs> but uh, that's what really threw me off is the first one I pulled out. And they're ACs. I think, I, well, I never did look at the brand. But they're really, I wouldn't really use them again. As dark as they look. It looks like fuel, though. It does not really look like oil. It's on them. It looks like fuel fouling. So, uh... It's just too dark, I think. See, they're not overly... Now that I realize that's a... Of course, I just scraped all that junk off that's on there, but... Now that I realize... I don't know if you can see that. That's white where I scraped it. That's... Looks like ceramic. It may be some new kind of material that they're using. Yeah, I don't see any electrode that I'm kind of I'm used to down in the pit, pit point of that either. So, see, this is the one that broke. It looks like a normal spark plug. The NGK is with the ceramic and then the, uh, you know, electrode down the middle. And that's what these are like. That one's worn down on quite a bit, seems like. But, uh... That one doesn't really look worn. Of course, the looks can uh, fool you when they uh, can be, uh, they'll break down inside. I learned that when I was growing up. We would, uh, 
Actually, that's where I learned how good NGK plugs were. We put them in our dirt box, our brother's dirt box. I only had a mini bike. I never had a real dirt bike. Until I got grown, I had... Well, I didn't really have a real dirt bike. I had a circle track bike that I... I bought a street bike. I wanted an, a Yamaha XT500 Enduro, or du, Enduro dual, Trail Street TS. It was a TS, Trail Street. Uh, Enduro 500 when they first came out four stroke. It was a wonderful bike. I got to ride one and uh, I started to get one and then they They were I don't know Well, the one I bought was 1300 brand new Yamaha 400 special 2. It looks kind of like a Harley Sportster looked at the time And I was gonna ride it to work and I thought well that makes more sense and I'm just wanting a toy and The other one was always 1800 bucks. I think and I could have got either one and then all I wanted to do is ride that bike in the dirt. I didn't even end up. Well, a guy wanted to ride with me to work and wanted to pay me. And I didn't even end up riding for it. So, uh, should have got what I wanted. Sometimes you know you shouldn't get what you want. Sometimes you probably should have when you have a chance. And you could afford it. And could have got it. So I think I'll pick that one. That's the one I want. These others over here for now. One, two, three, four. Okay. And uh, actually, I'll take two of them over there in case I will put them all over there. If I'm going to change them all, which I may, I'll just go ahead and change them all. See, I've already tightened up the, uh, already tightened up the deal. What is this that it uses? They were telling you, instead of telling you, like, the thread size or anything, which I guess that's convenient, but they were telling you what, they said hex size. I was like, what? Oh, they're talking about the size of ratchet. Yeah, five eighths. That's what I thought mine used. But <coughs> that's weird. They didn't have a good a way to make sure you're getting the right plug. Unless you knew your model plug was and I forgot it. Anyway, I'll figure all that out later. Right now, I just want to see if it runs any better on these plugs. And if I can get it to run okay, then I'll see if it's making that noise still or not. Could have been making that noise because this bad plug was dead inside. It was fixing to break. <coughs> Uh, could have been already broke sitting there, you know. I mean, all but the could have been that the electrode was broke, or that this ceramic was almost broke, but not completely, because it literally fell apart with me sticking a paper clip clip in it to clean it. So. And I still had the still had the, it sitting in the in the socket. You know, I wouldn't put any stress on the ceramic unless I actually definitely did break it getting it out, which I didn't think I did. Anyway. Let's go, uh, let's go get on the truck and get to work. Come back on another camera.